My name is Mike Doyle. I live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and I write for my website, falmatoday.me. Uh, I've got the final report, Part 3, on the CUSAC case. This was a case that was involving a uh, home invasion attack on Andrew CUSAC. The person involved was facing uh, approximately 50 years if he'd been convicted of all the charges. It was reduced down to eight months, excuse me, eight year sentence with all but nine months suspended. And he's serving the nine months at the uh, county uh, jail, so he'll be out in probably four and a half months. This is the testimony from three police officers in the Scarborough Department that had between 20 and 30 years of service. Scott Vaughn's testimony, Assistant D District Attorney Diaz asked, do any SPD members have any relationship with Beach Ridge or Cusack? Vaughn answered no. Diaz, are you paid beyond the time and a half from the town for working at a race? Vaughn answered, no money received directly. Chief Mullen has a relationship with CUSAC that goes back years. He's on CUSAC's, uh, excuse me, he's on Mullen's uh, distribution list on the 13th line on the right-hand side of a large group of email addresses. <clears throat> what happened was, for years, cops could bring their families and get free tickets, free food, and free drink, drinks. Uh, at the races if they weren't on duty. And this got abused to the point where cops were bringing friends, families with them, and to the point where Cusack just said, that's it, we're not going to let anyone bring any more people for free food, free drinks, free tickets. Cusack, from another source, uh, sends out free season tickets to the races to every cop in southern Maine. What's the chance of Cusack getting a speeding ticket if he's already paid the bribe in advance with a free season ticket? Sergeant Pearson was asked by Assistant District Attorney Diaz, does CUSAC pay anything to the police? Pearson, none I know of. Diaz, any fringe benefits? No. I don't know how you folks measure it, but if you're getting free tickets, free food, and free drink when you're not on duty with you and your family, that would seem to be a fringe benefit. Defense lawyer, overtime, question mark, one and a half times overtime pay, question mark, worked every year there. This is all to Sergeant Pearson, question mark. What about pay directly from Beach Ridge? Pearson's answer, and this is on the recording that I listened to from the uh, state court system. Highly improper directly from Beach Ridge. All the answers that these police officers gave regarding fringe benefits and compensation outside of the one and a half times paid by the town constitute direct perjury, either directly or by omission. And on top of that, cops were getting complaints all the time that Moulton was walking around the race area with a cup full of beer, and people asked if he can walk around with beer and drink beer at the race, why can't we? This is what's going on in this town that you may or may not know about, but this is the, the final chapter of the Cusack case. And this guy's going to spend four and a half months in jail for doing what he did to Mr. Cusack. Thank you.